Good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. It is Wednesday and it's been freezing here since Sunday. Um, basically have had my truck tucked in for two days with my heater going back here. We got this moving blanket and a nice reflective tarp and some wood to brace. And there's my 1500 watt heater going in there and we're gonna unwrap it. Hopefully everything's thawed because I need to transfer a chemical to get my day started. Uh, some stuff will be frozen, but hopefully the things that I need are not frozen this morning because we've got a stacked day and let's find out the truth. Let's see. Oh, that one works. Yay. Does this one work? Oh yeah. Excellent. Look, we got some liquid right there. This is moving. Excellent. All right. We're going to transfer some chemical and get this day going. All right. I hadn't considered that maybe my transfer line would be frozen. Yeah. Didn't even think about that. This should have been in the truck, but it was sitting out here in my bucket of ice water. It was solid. So what do we do? I don't know. Let's go over here and hit it with some hot water. I've said this a few times and one of the smartest things I've done at this property, even before I was washing, was to plumb hot water outside. So let's turn the hot water on. Oh no, everything's froze, man. Well, I guess we're gonna go inside and make some warm water to pour on this valve and see if we can get it to open. All right, check it out. Pop of hot water right out of the tap. Soak that valve submerge that valve for a second or two let's see oh there it is all right hot water so we're gonna soak this with hot water for a few minutes something like that and we'll get this to work momentarily we're making a nice little pool of water there hopefully just the very end of this thing is frozen anyway so It'll thaw in just a minute. This line froze, which is my transfer pigtail. So we gotta thaw that out too. No big deal. Only take a minute. Oh yeah. Transfer, baby, transfer. All right, we're gonna get the remainder of that up in this tank. And I think I better go grab another barrel over there get a little more going I'll run the hot water can you hear it it's working its way through there I don't know if you can hear it but a little trickle through there warm it up hey okay, we're out here on the job on the first project of the day and I got the 24 foot ladder up on this deck and we're doing gutter inspection. We got gutter guards up here. And we're making sure drains are clear. That thing's perfect, beautiful. I like this style of gutter guard. These are similar to what I install from Lowe's. Same type of grid work. In my opinion, these are the best kind. They keep out the large debris and allow the gutter to breathe. The fine mesh screens act like a Tupperware lid and let the fine organics in and then steam it. As the sun beats on here, you still have moisture in there and all sorts of moss and stuff grows on the fine mesh screens. These things breathe, they can dry out, keep the large debris out, allow everything to flow. These are real nice. I'm gonna check a couple more drain points and then we're gonna start washing. Beautiful. The only thing I don't like about these guards is the way the seams connect, they don't overlap. The ones I install have a slight overlap, about a quarter inch, so they don't get this deficiency here things can get caught get inside they kind of get beat up okay but these work very very well okay so i've learned before to take the time and do a thorough inspection on these things whether you think they're empty or not and this is what i've got in this front gutter and you can use your camera as like a little spy mirror okay to see down in there and see how far it goes thankfully i've only got this one reasonably short section to take care of 
I'll remove the three or four gutter guards that are here and dig this out. Can't leave that. No, no, no. And of course we are frozen solid. So we have this bar with us up here. And as soon as you can break through a little bit, you can get underneath and pull these hunks of gutter bacon out and your life becomes easy, see? So that's not even gonna be as bad as we might think. Even probably less work than if it were wet. But here we go, I gotta get to work. All right, we're ready to wash. Gutters have been inspected, guards put back on appropriately. I got 200 feet of hose pulled all the way around the house to this back corner over here. I'm gonna wash this end, work my way back around. I first, when I got here, I thought this house wasn't very dirty. And then as I'm looking at it and getting closer, we are very dirty up in these dark, dark, dingy mildew, all in those whites. My north end, which is the highest end, is very dirty. And we've got four of these houses to do. I'm doing this one, the next one, the next one after that, and another one further up the road. Uh, we've done nine houses in this neighborhood last year, and we've got four again today. So pretty excited about that. Let's see if this machine will start up and run. I expect that it will. It hasn't run since Saturday. Today is Wednesday. Choke on. Stone cold. What do we got? 35.4. Oh, yeah. We always wet and forget the railings. Hit your Trex deck real quick. Get the green off of here, just let it dwell. I don't know if you can see this, give you an idea how cold it is out here. The water is frozen right onto the house. <laughs> we have thoroughly rinsed. You can see that we're dripping, dripping clean here. So it is cold out here. All right, we're set up on our second job. I already did my gutter check here, hooked up to water. Hose is pulled all the way around. Machine is running. This one's nice, easy, two levels in some areas, and we got a deck to wash. I'm using, again, the M5 and the Davis Shooter because I like the M5 as a sweeping tool. So we're going to do our deck with that, let it dwell, board by board rinse. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we want is some dwell. So we see we got soap now. And we're going to shoot this railing from the outside in. Shoot everything down here. Then I'm gonna go up those stairs and soap everything on the inside and let it hang out while I wash at least a couple or maybe three sides of this house. The longer we let it hang out, the better it is. All right, and you can see these stairs are pretty green, pretty dirty. It's gonna come back real nice. Here we go. Nice and green up here. Snail tracks. Simply hitting it with house wash. You can see the paint is loose. You don't wanna mess around here. Just kill the green. Now I'm gonna give it a board by board rinse with the M5 twist on fan. And this is an upsell. Just as I'm finishing, I am out of water. I just came over here to the truck and was rinsing a little bit of my mess off the side and she started to kick and I said uh oh out of water so I'm gonna take my time we're still connected here and take my time put my ladders back on roll up my hoses it is 
noon time almost. So, you know, we'll relax for a minute, let some water fill up, and then on to the next one. Set up and running on project number three. Similar, nearly the same house I washed earlier this morning, just mirrored. Garage on the other side. We got the hoses pulled all the way around the back. I did the gutters in the back already on this and they were chock full of mud. It took me a lot longer than I expected. I was up on the on the 24 foot ladder for about 45 minutes doing these back gutters. They were just so heavy. Uh, this is pretty dirty, 30 feet or so to the peak. Cleaned up my mess already. And the gutters here are black, black dirty also. So this should go pretty quickly. I'm expecting about an hour on this wash. And then we got one more project in this neighborhood and a little gutter cleaning at the end. Oh, there's an actual rainbow up there. Wait, that's not even from me. How cool is that? This is how you do it. As you're moving around, you take a minute, snake out your hose so you can move effectively. Only takes an extra minute and saves you probably five. The project is done. This was that very dirty gutter area. And that looks brand new. Those little vents there attract black because it's moist all the time. Looks really good now. This project took me about a half an hour longer than I anticipated. It's about two o'clock right now, so we gotta get moving.
hole is too long. That is too long. That's what happened there. bit of use this thing slides right into the pocket where itchy is and just gets a little use once in a while it's nice to have this little slot right under here I thought I wanted to close these up at one point but now I know better beautiful All right, we're set up and running on the fourth project basically the same house again looked around the other way this is the third time I'm washing this house this guy's been a great client. He is the mayor of the street. He knows everybody and has got me every single job that I've gotten in here. So we want to try to do a couple little extra things for him while we're here. One of which I do is he has these sprinklers so he gets rust on there. So we're just simply going to spray that. We're not charging him. That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? After all the work he's given me, I can't spend an extra 30 seconds doing something like that, okay? And then also his furniture over here is very green. And we're gonna hit all the cushions with house wash and try to revive these. Let's see what happens. There's a video of me washing this house two years ago with my X-Jet on a rainy cold day One of the one of the first season washes. One of the only videos I have. Actually, that's not true. It must have been second season. I don't know. Anyway, I exjetted this house once, and I downstreamed it once, and we're here to wash again. Three times. All right. Here's my cushions. Beautiful. Did all these chairs, those concrete benches. All these cushions are perfectly clean. A little house wash and a quick M5 rinse and everything's beautiful. Got a little more iron staining over here. Look at that. I don't know how good this is gonna come off, but we'll hit this with some aluminum brightener too. Look at that. Sprinklers, the high iron content in the water. I don't remember. I think I, I think I hit this with F9 bark last time I was here. And F9 definitely works better than this uh, Napa stuff does. But we're using what we got. Now, a neighbor just saw my sign out front and says, hey, can you come give me an estimate? So I'm going to do that. And then, like I said earlier, this guy's the mayor. So he has me coming to get him again. When I'm done, he's going to go for a ride with me in the rig to another house up the road. So I got two estimates to run real quick. Here we go down the road for our estimate. We did this red house last year. And now we got to do that house. Well, the stone with the gate, unfortunately. Well, I'm just gonna walk up there around the gate. Nobody's home at the moment. And we got a nice little, nice little lake view here. Awesome little spot. It's a nice house. Let's go check it out. Awesome. Very cool place. At first you think it's not too dirty, then you get up close and there's dinge. Always dinge. Always mildew up high on the whites and the eaves. This place is pretty big out back. Solar panels all the way around it too. Well, we'll give them a nice number and hopefully we'll get this gig. We'll come back here in a couple weeks. All right, we're hitting the road, all done there for the day. I got one more gutter cleaning. Uh, went and gave an estimate with the mayor and we're gonna do our, our options estimate with Mark Kate where you can do you know three or four different options, however many you want. So I'm gonna quote the lady, roof washing, gutter cleaning and house washing and she can pick which services she wants um, 
So I'm going to submit that to her tonight. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we can grab all three. It'll be a nice ticket. And um, we're probably going to get at least one more in there too because uh, i got to call that lady on that big house we just looked at and she's probably going to take it. We'll set up on the last project of the day. This is one of my annuals. All we're doing is gutter cleaning spring and fall here. I'm going to walk the, uh, walk the gutter line real quick with the blower and we'll be out. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Big projects again tomorrow.